What's on our study plate tonight? <sighs> the bystander effect, misattribution of arousal, and Milgram's obedience experiments. It's so much to learn for one exam. How should we even study these? Should we do them one at a time or should we switch between them? What's the right way? Well, here's what the research findings suggest. You shouldn't study one idea for too long. Instead, you should change your topics up often. But do try to get a decent understanding of one topic before moving on to the next. Also, when you study again later, try a different order of reviewing the material. This will help you make connections between different topics. If we start with misattribution of arousal, then we can switch to the bystander effect. And then we can finish up with Milgram's obedience experiments. Ooh, and then we can go back and study neurons and research methods to keep that information fresh in our minds as well. Great idea. Interleaving may seem harder than studying one topic for a long time, but this is just because you're studying a variety of topics as opposed to just one. If you're studying something that involves problem solving, like math or physics, interleaving can help you choose the correct strategy to solve a problem. Interleaving can also help you see the links and similarities between different ideas. For example, the bystander effect is when someone needs help, but if a lot of people are around, most people won't help. They conform to what everyone else is doing, and most figure that someone else will take care of it. In Milgram's study, he found that most people will follow an instruction if an authority figure tells them to, even if it means hurting another person. This is very similar to conformity. In one case, people are conforming to what they perceive as the norm. In another case, people are conforming to what they think an authority figure wants them to do. If you had just gone over and over the bystander effect in one study session, and then the Milgram experiment in another, you may not have made the connection between the two. It's better to interleave them. We can even connect these to research methods. Both of these examples are experiments, and so we can identify the different variables within each experiment. This way, we're not just reviewing the information from the most recent class, but making connections further back. Another benefit of interleaving. What she said.